Infrared spectroscopy is a technique used to analyze the bond types and functional groups present in organic molecules. Covalent bonds can absorb specific amounts of energy to vibrate in certain ways, and different bond types absorb different amounts of energy to do this. For most organic molecules, the bonds in them can be made to vibrate using energy found from the infrared region of the electromagnetic spectrum. This means if a specific wave of IR radiation is shone at a sample, the corresponding bond type in the sample can start to vibrate by absorbing the energy from the wave. By bombarding a sample with a complete range of IR waves, the wavelengths of IR that get absorbed by the sample can be analyzed and the types of bond in the molecule found. Wavelengths are used to distinguish between different IR waves, however wavelengths are very small, meaning wave numbers are used instead, to make things easier. A wave number is just 1 divided by wavelength, with units of centimetre to the minus 1. The bigger the wave number, the smaller the wavelength, and higher the energy, of the wave. Tables are produced that show the range of possible wave numbers a particular bond type is likely to absorb. The same bond type in different molecules will absorb slightly different wave numbers, which is why a range of values is always given in such tables. In infrared spectroscopy, spectra are produced that show the waves that pass through a sample. This is called transmittance. Any waves or wave numbers that weren't transmitted must have been absorbed by bonds in the sample. These wave numbers absorbed can be compared to a data table and the corresponding bond types can be determined. Below wave numbers of 1500, the absorptions of IR waves are associated with vibrations and motion of whole molecules, meaning they are very complicated to analyse. The combination of all absorbances and the shape of this region is, however, unique to a particular molecule meaning it is referred to as the fingerprint region. Due to its complexity, it isn't analysed in detail at this level and is instead just used to quickly identify given substances. OH bond stretches are described as broad and cover a wider range of wave numbers on a spectra than you would otherwise expect. This is due to hydrogen bonding arising between oxygen and hydrogen atoms from different OH groups in neighbouring molecules.